All right, Benjamin from Optimal Canine. Once again, bringing you some dog training information. So, if y'all are not aware, we just had a litter drop of working Dutch and Mal puppies. He is not a part of that litter. They're younger. They're about four weeks old right now. So, I thought I'd take a second and, and talk a little bit about working dogs and dogs for, uh, uh, for personal protection purposes. I have a lot of people reach out to me and they're like, hey, I got a pit bull. Hey, I got a, I got a cane Cane Corso. I got a Rottweiler. Do you think I can get them protection trained? When you're looking for a dog for protection, you wanna make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. And when I say that, getting a, a, a puppy from Petco, I don't know if they sell puppies, but getting a puppy from a random spot, right? That's not a working line puppy or a, or a breeder that sells working dogs, you're already setting yourself up for not having a good foundation for a, a personal protection uh, prospect. Personal protection dogs typically need to have some type of lineage um, that backs up um, the work that you'd like them to do. So when you're going to purchase a puppy, um, make sure you see the parents. Do the parents, are, are, are the parents able to do any work? Can the, are the parents hitting the bite suit? Are the parents hitting the sleeves? Are the parents protecting anything? And I'm not saying resource guarded. I'm saying actually trained in controlled aggression. Chances are, if the parents can't do that, then you're expecting a lot from the puppy to do that. Over here at Optimal Canine, we do not train any dogs that cannot genetically do the work. So if you already have a puppy who doesn't have parents that, that, that do it, then you're already on the wrong end of it. But then on top of that, we test the dogs and we see, it's like, can the puppy do anything? Can the adult dog do anything? We test the prey drive, we test defensive drive. Um, we test the nerves, is the dog super nervy? Too much nerve isn't good in the work. So when we're looking at all those things, we can tell like, okay, this dog isn't gonna be able to do it. And 90, okay, maybe, maybe I'll say 80, percent of the dogs that you bring that don't have any background in protection work in terms of their parents their lineage typically just can't do it they just don't have what it takes they don't have the drive they don't have the nerves they don't have the confidence so if you're looking for a personal protection puppy we do have a litter that just dropped right we will train um, the dogs of course for a price right We'll, we'll train your dog once he gets of age to do personal protection, but at least you're starting off with a, a, a good amount of genetics that steer towards the work that you want the dog to do. Don't bring me your 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 show line German Shepherd and say you want him to get him personal protection trained because he just can't do it. He doesn't have the drive for it. Talking about the genetics needed for personal protection work, this is. This is an example of what we're talking about. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit of Valid. He's a puppy that I picked out. And I don't look at just, I don't just look at uh, hell, or not health tested, well-bred, uh, working line. Like, I don't just look at that. I test my dogs out. I test them to see what they have, right? You can get a dog, you can get a dog that has the best genetics ever, right? But it, it doesn't, it can't do it. It just was not the pick of the litter for that work. You still need to test the dog, but it's putting the scales in your favor, right? So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Valen is three months old and you see he's jumping. Why is he jumping on? He sees the sleep. When you're talking about puppies who have drive and puppies who are capable of doing the work, he's not doing any protection work right now, but I can teach him how to do protection work with his drive, with his desire, right? Oh, right? So look at that. Oh, right? So he's not doing any protection work, right? He, he doesn't know specifically what he's gonna be trained to do, but he's got the, 
the dry. Ah! To, ah! He's got the natural instinctual drive to do bite, to bite, to, to do bite work. So then I change that and I twist it and I, and I make a working protection dog out of him, but clean slate, he's just got the genetics to handle it, right? Hey! I yell at him. He didn't, he didn't come off. He, he just stayed right here. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm in there, I'm biting. And we still got to teach him how to grip properly, right? There's still a lot of things he has to learn. But looking at this puppy, I know that I have a good slate to develop him into a personal protection dog. If your dog doesn't have drive, do not bring him to me. He cannot do the work. And if you want a dog with drive, send me an email and we can pick out a puppy from you or for you from our personal protection breeding program that we have here at Optimal Canine. That's all, folks.